Okay, I want to give some thoughts on this uh, topic of abortion. Um, you know, last night I was watching the World Series, like I'm sure all of you were, and every half inning they were playing a commercial. Um, basically uh, supporting abortion and um, every commercial was talking about how extreme a politician was uh, that wanted to ban abortion with no exceptions okay now in my view um, what's extreme is killing a little baby there should not be a more safe and sacred place in this world than in the womb of your mother that should be the safest most sacred place you could ever be in your entire life because once you're out of the womb, watch out. Well, that's not good enough for the devil, right? The devil wants to destroy you outside of the womb. And the devil wants to destroy you inside of the womb as well. We are under constant attack, in my opinion. Now, of course, <clears throat> I noticed this context here. This, all the, everything that I'm saying probably going to get me in trouble right just for having an opinion that goes against the mainstream views right so it, to me it's interesting because every single one of these ads were against they were all Iowa ads and they were of course they were all talking about how extreme every I mean every half inning this is like 17 times or maybe it's maybe it was 50 times I don't know just every half inning extreme views abortion no exceptions you know every what is it every 15 20 minutes or half hour whatever extreme abortion no exceptions N and not one mention of how absolutely insane it is to want to kill your child in your womb and another thing that bothers me about this is that it doesn't never get talked about but all these women that have abortions live with that regret for the rest of their lives all right and every single one of them and I've talked to them privately and they've expressed that sorrow and that guilt they have that they carry with them all the days of their lives now these abortions are not targeted at 40 and 50 year old women no, they're targeted at teenagers now think about that they're going after our kids and our kids kids alright so let's get into this I just want to show a couple of clips here I, you know and it's crazy I you know I saw 50 different commercials but not one of them are on YouTube how the does that happen not one single commercial is on YouTube it's crazy so I, I, I don't understand it but anyways uh, I'm gonna show about 17 seconds A new political act calls out Texas Governor Greg Abbott for the state's extremely restrictive anti-murder law. In 2021, Abbott signed one of the most restrictive murder laws. It bans the procedure 
after about six weeks with no exceptions for rape or incest. All right, so first of all, hold on a second. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen this in the Bible. I want to show you something in the Bible that maybe, I, I'm guessing most people have never saw this before. Kind of like a little known secret. Exodus 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Except uh, when you want to kill. No, there's no exceptions here. No, what was that? What was that phrase? No exceptions. No exceptions. Thou shalt not kill. This no exceptions. So there's no exceptions. So is that extreme? <laughs> I mean, really, is it extreme? to say thou shalt not kill think if you were in the womb of your mother would you want to be killed just be honest you know it's a very reasonable question and you think about the golden rule right um, what is the golden rule Oh, I don't even know. I gotta think about this a second. The golden rule. What is the golden rule? As it would, as you would others, so also, I, I don't even know what it is. Man, I better start learning this stuff. Okay, the golden rule is there are no rules. No, that's not it. Man, why can't I remember? 712. Why can't I remember that? Can't remember nothing. So let's see what 712. As it would that you would... Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So, would you want men to uh, kill you in the womb of your mother? I and mean, that's this is how you apply this verse. If you wouldn't want somebody to kill you in the womb of your mother, then don't kill them in the womb of their mother. That's the golden rule. All the law and the prophets center around that. Okay, now, um, let's go back here. No exceptions for rape and incest. So this is interesting. So. Um, because they want to use this argument that, well, they're, you know, you can't get an abortion if you're raped. You can't get an abortion for incest. Well, that implies that there is rampant rape and incest. All right, well, how about this? How about the death penalty for rape? And how about the death penalty for incest? And why not the death penalty for murder? Boy, that would clear up a lot, a lot of stuff, wouldn't it? It would put a halt big time. It wouldn't be 100% halt, but it would be a big time halt to all this nastiness and, wi and wickedness that's going on. Okay. So, as I'm considering this, I'm wondering how many abortions are there in the United States every year well I remember 20 years ago it was about 4,000 people it was about the same number of people that died on 9-11 that's about how many babies were being killed every year I, that's what I remember so I, I looked this up and right up here I don't know if you can see this very well 
it says 930,000 and so I get the, the handy dandy calculator out 930,000 divided by 365 is about 2,500 murders every single day baby murders killing babies in the womb of their mother I thought, well, that's about 1,500. Sure, what the heck is going on? Is it Mandela striking again? What? So I, I go and I look up another site here. And I, this is crazy. I mean, this is a huge deal. You go from 2,500 murders a day, and then I go to this one right here, and I see 1.5 million a year in 1980. 1.5 million a year 1980 then I don't know what's going on with these statistics man it, it, to me it, it reminds me of another uh, set of statistics that we've been getting in the last couple of years that are phony all right and then it's incredible that we went from 1.5 million murders a year to about half of that all right, and then if you got the CDC numbers and you got Guchmacher or Guchmacher or whatever. I don't know who that is. Really. That's incredible. How could you be that far? How could there be that big of a difference if you're not budging numbers? I don't know. To me, I, I don't believe I mean, this is incredible. Almost a third of what was once. Uh, you know once recorded and it's crazy because there's no and you know there's nothing that's happened in the world that would suggest there would be a decline in abortions I could see a scenario where they're not getting reported right like uh, what do they what do they call that uh, doctor patient confident you know private confidentiality whatever where you don't have to report it you know you don't have to tell mom and dad you don't have to tell your boyfriend or your husband just between you and the doctor and it goes unreported I could see that now let's go back to this idea of rape so okay to finish this point now rape and incest you telling me there are 1.5 million rapes and in acts of incense at incest every year I, no not even close man these teenagers are not getting raped and having incest these teenagers are having sex with their boyfriend and getting pregnant and going to the doctor and getting it killed that's what's going on very extremely rare is there cases of you know just because you somebody gets raped doesn't mean they're gonna get pregnant so that this idea that somebody gets pregnant from rape is extremely rare rarely ever happens and the same thing with incest rarely does it ever happen but it does happen no question about it. now when it does happen what should we do well well, the person that rapes should get the death penalty. It should be executed. The person that commits incest should be executed. The death penalty. Now that would that would that would go a long ways to stopping this stuff from happening. Is it too harsh? No. Are you kidding me? If you're going to give somebody probation for rape and incest, why even have the law? You're not discouraging anything. But if you lay down the law and say that's a, a death penalty right there, you're going to die. You're busted. you got to pay the price. And that would, man, that would bring justice to the families, to the victim. And it would send a serious message to anybody that had those sorts of thoughts. All right. Now, 
in the case of rape and incest, there's no way in you know what that there's that many cases going on every single year. No way. All right, so you saw this one, right? Thou shalt not kill. So let's go. I'm going to try to wrap this up. I just want to show something here if I could. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you shall therefore keep my stat. Okay, we're in Levit Leviticus 18. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father. Or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. She is thy mother, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Alright, uh, that seems pretty reasonable, doesn't it? I mean, don't have sex with mom, man, that's wicked. The nakedness of thy father's wife, your stepmom, shalt thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness the nakedness of thy sister the daughter of thy father or daughter of thy mother whether she is born at home or born abroad even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover that would be your sister your half sister your stepsister the nakedness of thy son's daughter that would be your granddaughter or of thy daughter's daughter, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. Now would you agree that this is wickedness? How could you not agree with the idea that people that violate these laws should receive the death penalty? It, to me it's absolutely insane to, to disagree with it the death penalty for these people that commit these types of violations. The nakedness of thy father's wife, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister. Thy father's wife's daughter, so that would be your, like, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister. That would be your half-sister, right? Father's, what? no, that would be my, just thy sister, okay. Thou shalt not uncover thy nakedness of thy father's... Oh, when? Yeah. Excuse me. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister. That's your aunt. She is thy father's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister. That's your aunt. For she is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother's... Or thy, thy father's brother. Thou shalt not approach to his wife. She is thine aunt. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law. She is thy son's wife. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's nakedness. That's your sister-in-law. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Neither shalt thou take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness. For they are her near kinswoman. It is wickedness. Alright, so this is like saying, okay, th this is as disgusting and as wicked as anything I've ever heard in my life. And that is that I, well, yeah, I've heard people all say, well, uh, you know, there's a woman and her daughter, and they would like to get with both of them. That's pure wickedness it's disgusting neither shalt thou take a wife to her sister to vex her to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime so that would be your wife's sister all right and this all this stuff is filthy 
wickedness. Also, thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is apart for her uncleanness. And I don't think I have to go into detail what that means. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. I don't know what that means, quite frankly. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. And then this one's pretty obvious here. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Can anybody figure out what that one means? Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Does anybody know what that means? These are all. If I say what this means, am I going to get in trouble? Am I going to get in trouble for just saying well, everything that I've just said here, quoting the Bible, including Exodus 20, verse 13, Thou shalt not kill. That's my thoughts on it.